bought a dinghy. We bought a dinghy. Hi, I'm Claire, and this is Sam, and this is our journey to leading a more adventurous life. Oh, and this is Bindi. She's coming too. After weighing the cost of getting our dinghy fixed by a pro, we opted to buy one secondhand in the hopes of kissing our dinghy troubles goodbye. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> Mark my words. As soon as this thing starts up, we're riding out the this sunset. Unfortunately for us, our outboard had other plans. You look mad. Why are you mad? Because nothing that we bought works. What do you mean nothing works? The boat works. But what specifically? Our outboard. The fuel tank has a crack in it. Of course, we have like the one outboard that has a built-in fuel tank. That's not just a jerry can and it has a crack in it. So we're going to try to have someone fiberglass it, which is a temporary solution. While we try to figure out where we can have the replacement part shipped to us. They say cruising is fixing your boat in exotic places, and we were getting a crash course. Well, we may not have had a working outboard, but we did have a floating dinghy, and that was enough for us to leave the dock and go drop anchor. What are you doing, Sam? Oh, I'm diving on the anchor. Our friend's yellow bird, Jack and Kira, right over there. First night on anchor was awesome. Super breezy. Our anchor held. It was really nice and quiet. No mosquitoes. No complaints. Look at this guy. Our outboard is still not working. The patch that we attempted uh, didn't work. So we're rowing to shore instead. Sam's getting his morning weekend. Making them gain, son! <laughs> After a midday dip, it was back to work. Repairing our outboard engine. So first it was a dinghy that was giving us trouble, but then we realized that the outboard engine fuel tank wouldn't hold fuel. <laughs> it just kept leaking out. Uh, we patched one spot, kept leaking. We found the other spot, it was also leaking. Patched that one up, and now it's looking a bit more promising. I think it might work. The next day, we took the engine apart, gave the carburetor a good clean, and victory was ours at last. Our dinghy fixed and Jack and Kieran good health again, we were eager to explore the more remote anchorages of Kariaku. As our luck would have it, there was to be a full lunar eclipse that night. Destination, Sandy Island. Our new friends arrived aboard their boat Tevavo and Yellow Bird was already moored up ahead. Though shortly after we had all settled in, the weather started to take a turn. 
That escalated quickly. <laughs> so when we took on that uh, ball, yours was better than ours. Yeah. At least yours wasn't corroded. Je pourrais te raconter mon Noël sans goût et. The weather may have been bad out there, but that didn't seem to get in the way of us having one of the most incredible nights of our lives. Most of us had only just met, but that night bonded us in a way that's hard to explain. Over the next few days, we all became inseparable. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Not a bad place to spend it. Today, we were headed to Paradise Beach Club for a sip and paint event where cruisers paint their boat name and it gets displayed on their wall of fame. That's a very, very good question. It's an important question. As it goes in the world of cruisers, Celine and Bruno were set to leave in the morning. It felt way too soon, but somehow I was certain it wouldn't be the last time our paths crossed. 